That may be a possibility for some MPs. Some MPs may now take a view that having the second jobs isn't worth it overall. Um, for some, the, the the figures that they're getting for this are relatively small, um, but there are a small core of MPs, maybe 20 or 30, that are earning some considerable sums of money from these consultancy roles. And, um, you know, they have a, probably a much more difficult decision, uh, at least financially. Um, maybe politically, the way ahead is, is much more obvious. Craig, wouldn't the easiest way to go forward with this is just say what jobs are acceptable, whether it's frontline, if, if you're a doctor, if you're a police officer, if you serve in the, in the, in the uh, reserve, something like that? Um, there's always the risk that an MP will come along um, elected at a later election who does something that isn't on that list that everyone thinks that's, that's OK. So um, I, I, there might be a point of having an indicative list of uh, acceptable second jobs. Um, things in the public sector, as you say, sort of uh, people with links to the armed forces or whatever it might be, um, have a list of things that are okay, but maybe n not make that a complete list and say, if it's on that list, it's okay. You may have to just think a bit more broadly about it because inevitably an MP will come along that does something that isn't on that list and we probably think that's okay.